Hello, good afternoon to all you internet virtual viewers out there. Hi, <laughs> and welcome to episode two of Learning Cello with Vessi. I am your host Vessi and this is Mr. Cello. Before we start this tutorial, down in the description you are going to find information on how you can get the sheet music for this piece. Along with that you are going to find the link to the full version of the musical video and pretty much links to all my social media everywhere where you would like to see more content from me. For every one of you who would like to support me on a subscription basis that is very much appreciated. Please go ahead and check my Patreon. There are a lot of perks which you're getting when you sign up for my patreon and uh, one of the biggest perks is that you support independent creators and you make all of this possible today we are doing another tutorial of a beautiful beautiful song i wanted to do a tutorial of this song because this is officially the first song which hit 1 million views in my channel so yay yuppie Okay, uh, that was not uncomfortable for anybody. Today we are reviewing Beauty and the Beast, Tale as Old as Time. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> Nobody wants a copy strike, so that was uh, pretty much enough for everybody. This song will be suitable for those of you who are not beginner level, uh, since there are a few thumb positions which we will use. Along with that, there are three key changes which may throw you off in case you are still a beginner. So I would suggest that if you are a beginner level cellist, uh, go ahead and check my other video for Can't Help Falling In Love and maybe start with that. That is a little bit less challenging, so in case you're still not sure, go ahead and check that one out. But if uh, you are ready for something new and um, you are ready to jump in the deep waters with me, then then uh, let's uh, let's jump together I guess. <laughs> this tune starts in the scale of F major and we're gonna go through a few key changes as I said. So we're gonna go from F major to D major, from D major to uh, G, I think it was G, was it G? Yes, <laughs> it was G. <laughs> so we're gonna go through uh, G and then after that E. Okay, we start the tune in the scale of F major and we're gonna start with fourth position. In case you still don't know how to jump straight into your fourth position, I would suggest that first you find your F on the D string on first position with second finger. So an easy access to your F with second finger on the D string is going to be if you start with the open D. F is located here on the first position with your second finger. However, I said that we're going to use our fourth position. So let's go and try to go up the D string. That's right, easy peasy. So we start with the note A with first finger on the D string. So let's see how the first sequence sounds like. Pretty easy, pretty straightforward. For the most part of that video, we're gonna be slurring two by two. But for those of you who want to try something else, you can try single bows, but you have to make them sound as if they are slurred. So something like this, maybe. So in case you are not interested in trying that at all, and a little bit of an easier version, probably, it's gonna be to slur two by two. And that is going to be the slurring for the most of that piece. So um, since we already know the bowing, let's try and figure out uh, the notes, which probably we should have started with because that was more important. So we already found our A with first finger on the D string, fourth position, first finger, it's an A. If you're not sure if you're in the right place, check your open A string and see if it sounds the same. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, we got it. So the finger switch we will use is gonna be first and fourth on the D string, then we move on the exact same position, we move to the A string and we play first and second and back to second on the D string. So we have two notes on the D, two notes on the A and we go back to D. We stay in the exact same position, we don't move our hand. <laughs> Before the start of the sequence, there is a little bit of a piano introduction. And after this, in the bar, we have two bars of silence, two bars of pauses, and we start on the third bar. So it's gonna sound like this. One and two and... So once we have this little piece done, let's jump into the second one and try to connect them together. The second sequence sounds like this. Very similar to the previous one, we still stay in the exact same position, easy peasy, the exact same two notes, A and C with first and fourth finger. Jumping to first finger on the A string is gonna be our E and then F. And instead of coming back to D string, we stay on the A and put our fourth finger for a G. Easy peasy, let's try it together. So let's try to put those two together. So we start, one and two and. One and two and three and four and one and two and. Great! In our third sequence, there is a little jump which we're gonna need to learn today. And it sounds like this. Don't get alarmed, it's not that hard. Uh, we actually stay very close, note by note, so it's not that much of a big jump. So we start with our second finger on the A string, which is gonna be our F. F, G, second and fourth finger. And then between the G and our A, there is a jump from fourth finger to first finger. That is a jump which you probably are gonna need to repeat a few times before you get it done. Another thing which I wanted to mention is that for those of you who have never played thumb position before, in this case scenario, we cannot keep our thumb behind the fingerboard, so we're gonna need to release that and put it on top of the fingerboard. So in my case scenario, I would like to first go and secure my A position with my first finger and then release my thumb on top of the strings. But in case you are already familiar with thumb position, that probably that's gonna be an easy peasy for you. So let's see what's happening after that because I think we, we've been through that one quite a few times. Okay, so pretty straightforward. A scale up and then the same scale going down. And then the ending of this will be with your third finger. You're gonna do a jump to the B. So that is going to be a jump that you're definitely gonna need to learn if you have not done it before. That's gonna be from your F to your B. That is going to be the ending of our phrase. So it should sound like that. And our last note is going to be C on the D string with fourth finger. And once we got those three phrases learned on their own, we're gonna try to put them together. 
one and two and one and two and one and two and and those are all the phrases which we have in the F major after this we're gonna have a key change so we're gonna need to change our position for a D major let's check that one out we're gonna start with F sharp in first position since we're in D major F sharp is gonna be pretty easy accessible however we will not play it with our third finger we will replace it with our first finger <laughs> We start from the F sharp and we have the same bowing and the same fingering like we learned at the start. Do you remember? It was exactly the same at the start. First fourth, first second, second. Two on the D string, two on the A string, back to the D string. The exact same, this time we're doing it in the key of D major and the next phrase is gonna be again the exact same like the previous which we learned F A with first and fourth finger and then C sharp and D with first and second and then with fourth finger is the E Again, we have two notes and one slur. Okay, all right, let's tie them together. One and two and. One and two and three and four and one and two and. This time the third phrase comes straight after the second so there is no time for you to go and check up your fingers, check up your positions. So it should sound something like this. Okay, let's go ahead and figure this one out. So we already learned the first half of this phrase, which is gonna be starting with the F sharp on a D string. Our ending note was with fourth finger. It was the E on the A string. We continue with a jump from fourth finger to third in fourth position. That is gonna be our F sharp. So once we end on our E with fourth finger, from that we jump to the next note after E is gonna be F sharp in the D major scale. So here we have one slur for the first two notes. It's gonna be F and E. And then the next A and D are gonna be harmonics. So we have two notes in slur and three notes with single bows. Okay, and after this, we jump on the exact same note, which is the D, but on A string with second finger. So that might be a little tricky. So once we got our jump back to D with second finger on the A string, we have we have again two notes in one slur and the rest three notes will be in single bows. The first two notes is gonna be D and C sharp. And then move your first finger down half a note to play that same D with first finger. Then you stay in position, but extend your hand. Mm -hmm. 
Once we land on the D with first finger, we extend our hand and again with first finger in the same extended position on the D string, we're gonna catch our G. You can always check your intonation with an open D or with an open G or open A whenever you have an A. And then the last little piece is gonna be in fourth position with third finger. That's gonna be our F sharp. So we have third and fourth finger for F sharp and G. And then we move our hand half a note to catch our E, but with second finger. We want that so we can stay in position for our D. So third and fourth finger, F sharp and G. Then instead of playing our E with first finger, we replace it with second finger for E and F. We extend our hand to catch the D with first finger. Okay, and now we have to try to put all of these pieces together. Let's try. One and two and. One and two and three and four and one and two and. Today we're only gonna check the first half of tail is all this time because I need to go get ready for work and I do not have any more time to record. <laughs> if you guys liked it, please do let me know in the comments down below, let me know which song you would like me to review next time. Uh, give it a thumbs up if uh, you liked it. I would really, really appreciate it if you could also subscribe to my channel and uh, while you are down there, you might also consider ringing the notification bell so you can get notifications every time that I upload. For those of you who would like to purchase the sheet music for this tune, you can find all the information down in the description box below. Thank you guys for sharing your time with me. I hope that you found this video helpful and if you have not found it helpful, I hope that at least you found it a little bit funny and if you have not found it I neither funny or helpful, then I am really really so sorry for wasting your time. <laughs> Thank you again for joining me and uh, see you in the next one. Bye!